seems homegrown talent for Ukraine's government is hard to come by. The president's still shopping around for foreigners to fill key roles in Kiev. He's now trying to tempt former British Prime Minister Tony Blair to join him as an advisor. Here's Ilya Petrenko on why Petro Poroshenko's on a drive to get people from abroad on board. When protesters kicked President Yanukovych out of Kiev last year, their message was abundantly clear. Everyone from the old government had to go. Lustration became the buzzword. Little did anyone imagine that within less than a year, there would be non-Ukrainians in top government positions. Three ministers got their Ukrainian passports just hours before the new cabinet was voted in by the parliament. President Poroshenko was a big fan of the idea. I have no doubt that reformers throughout history have never been ashamed of engaging foreigners in reforms. We now have foreigners helping us in many government institutions, but that's not enough. The same question was asked over and over again. Why can't such a big nation find the right candidates among a population of 42 million? But last month, people in one of the country's richest regions, Odessa, woke up to find themselves governed by Georgia's ex-president, Mikhail Saakashvili. Even though the man is wanted on criminal charges in his homeland, he has already threatened his new subordinates with jail time. Meanwhile, America's most outspoken supporter of sending arms to Ukraine also got a job offer from Poroshenko. However, John McCain turned the offer down and chose not to become the president's advisor in Kiev. After all, he's still an active member of the U.S. Senate and not on trial back home. Well, Ukraine's leader didn't give up and called on Britain's former Prime Minister Tony Blair, hoping he could help Kiev ease tensions with Russia as a member of Poroshenko's team of advisors. He doesn't know the Ukraine. He does not know Russia. He does not know uh, the um, uh, social economic conditions the country um, is uh, in at the moment. His last uh, function in, uh, as a mediator in the Palestinian-Israeli um, conflict uh, came out with a very low uh, result. So I think it is a kind of a PR show which is uh, done there not to uh, allow the Ukrainian issue to um, uh, evaporate in the minds of the Western public opinion. Mr. Blair still hasn't made up his mind on the lucrative position. So Ukrainians just have to wait and see what's next or who's next. Ilya Petrenko, RT, Ukraine.